guys again welcome to this class today in this class we are going to learn about the properties of logarithms and solving problems based on logarithms first of all let us see what are the properties we have based on logarithms so these are the five main properties we have based on logarithms the first property is that if a power x is equal to n then x is equal to log n to the base a so that is the first formula if a power x is equal to n, then x is equal to log n to the base a. And what is the second formula is that log x y to the base a is equal to x I mean log x base a plus log y base a. So this is the second formula log x y to the base a is equal to log x to the base a plus log to the y base a. And then the third formula is that if log x by y is equal to a, then log x to the base a minus log y to the base a. So there was the third formula: log x y to the base x by y to the base a is equal to log x to the base a minus log y base a. And the next four formula is log a to the base a is equal to one. Okay. So let's see how. Fourth formula: log a to the base a is equal to one. And at last, we have log x power n is equal to a. Then this n will go forward like this. So the answer will become n log x to the base. Once more, let us see all the properties based. I mean, all the formulas or properties based on logarithms. What is the first formula? First formula is nothing but Log if uh, a power x is equal to n, then x is equal to log n to the base a. And second is that if log x y to the base a is equal to log x to the base a plus log y to the base a. And third, if we have log x by y to the base a that is equal to log x to the base a minus log y to the base a. And what is the fourth formula we have? Log a to the base a is equal to one, and the last formula we have is that log x to the x power n by to the base a is equal to and log x to the base a is n goes forward. So these are the five properties based on logarithms. So now with these properties, let us do some problems. So this is the first question. Expand log three forty three by one twenty five. One thing, guys, if there is nothing base, the base will be ten. Remember this: if there is not, uh, no base for the given uh, logarithm, then the base will be ten. So there is no need. First of all, give a log three forty three to the give or give by one twenty five. So how can we solve these? Here we have property, right? Log x but by y to the base a is equal to log x to the base a minus Log y by a. So that's why how he give it here. We do here log 343 by 125 is equal to. How can we write this? Log 343 to the base 10 minus log 125 to the base 10. So now. How can we write this one? Three forty-three and one twenty-five as the squares of cubes of their terms. For example, three forty-three is nothing but cube of seven. This I mean seven cube. That means log seven cube to the base ten. And how can we write one twenty-five? One twenty-five is nothing but cube of five. So we can write as log five cube to the base ten. So in the first step we use the third formula, and now in this step, we uh, from the last formula we have x bar n to the base a. I have also seven bar three to the base a. <coughs> Then what happens now? Nothing but this n goes forward like that. This three will goes to forward. That is three log seven to the base ten. As seen we here also you apply in fifth formula we have three log five to the base ten, isn't it? Now can we take three as common? 
Yes, we can take 3 as common. So, we get 3 log 7 to the base 10 minus log 5 to the base 10. So, this is how we expand the first logarithm of any number. So, this is the first problem we can do. Now, let us do another difficulty problem based on this. Okay, guys. Now, let us continue with the second problem. What was the problem given? If x square plus y square is equal to 25, then prove that 2 log x plus y is equal to 3 log 3 plus log x plus log y. So, how can we solve this problem? What was given? First of all, in any problem, we have to write given. So, what is given? Given is x square plus y square is equal to 25. So, for proving this, let us take the else, uh, LHS of this equation. So, what was the LHS? That LHS is 2 log of x plus y. Okay, ma? So, what was the property we have here? Ah, the reverse of this fifth property is this. So, if m log x to the base a, then log x power m to the base a. Okay, here, what is given? 2 log x plus y. Isn't it? Here, given 2 log x plus y. So, what we can do here? We can do, bring this 2 above that. Means log x plus y whole square. So, what will be following as x plus y whole square? Yes, it is nothing but x square plus y square plus 2xy. This formula is formally applied for, for a plus b whole square. a square plus b square plus 2ab. So that was given here. Log x plus y whole square is nothing but x square plus y square plus 2xy. And another thing, x plus x square plus y square is given for us. It is not 25, ma. 25xy. Some printing mistake. Okay, it's 25xy. So, x plus y, x square plus y square is 25xy. So, that becomes log of 25xy plus 2xy. Isn't it? This is how we solve that. And the last step is that, what is 25xy plus 2xy? It's nothing but 27xy. So now, by using the second property, how can you write this? Is that, I will write here, below it is not uh, visible to you. Log 27 plus log x plus log y. And now for the last step, we can write 27 as 3 cube. That is log 3 cube plus log x plus log y so 3 3 uh, comes forward so the answer is 3 log 3 plus log x plus log y so this is how we solve this we got the required answer isn't it 2 log x plus y is equal to 3 log 3 plus log x plus log y so hence proved Okay guys, please, if you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And also, please don't forget to click on the bell icon to learning more and more formulas and properties based on this mathematics. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. I will be here in the next class. Bye-bye.